I'm with Steve Hamm, the co-author of Smart Machines. So let's start with that topic of cognitive systems. How did this idea come about? Well, John Kelly, the head of IBM Research, had been talking about some major changes in, in technology uh, that were coming over the, over the next uh, couple of decades. And it happened at about the same time that IBM had its centennial. And uh, so we did a lot of looking back into the past, back 100 years. And John said, well, let's, why don't we look into the future? Why don't we look decades into the future at the same time? And he asked a, a group of people to do that. And they, they did look ahead. And they really started realizing that there was a major shift coming that, uh, that, that really is the third uh, big shift in computing. The first one was the tabulating era from 1850 to, to about eight, the 1940s. The second one, the, the current uh, time, was the, uh, was the computing era. And, and next comes the cognitive era. And it took a while to kind of settle on a word. I mean, the people talked about learning systems and they talked about AI. And, but it seems like cognitive is something that really uh, sums it up. And I've, been, I've written books before. And uh, when I saw, when I talked to John about you know, his vision, I said, well, this is a book. You know, this, is, you know, th this has to be communicated in a way that uh, people can understand it comprehensively. And, 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 and that's a book. And that's, that's really how it works. So with a cognitive system, though, how is it different from incrementally improving uh, a today's machine? Maybe a little nugget about how it's a different yeah. kind of computer. Yeah. Well, these, these machines really will be fundamentally different, kind of on a bunch of layers of technology, all the way from the nano layer at the bottom to the, the programming layer at the top. But one of the main differences is that they're really designed for, for big data. They're designed to, uh, to handle a huge amount of data and to make sense of them and to help us, uh, to help us penetrate uh, complexity, the kind of, kind of world that we live in today. So you really have to program them differently. And one of the ways that that is done is, is you program them to, to learn and to, in a sense, program themselves. After you train them, uh, they go on, they, keep, uh, they, they learn by encountering data and by uh, interacting with humans. And I would say that that's probably the most fundamental difference between today's computers and, and cognitive computers in the future.